Hello, this is Mike Lively, and we're going to go over eight essential keyboard shortcuts that you can use in Flash Builder that will save you tons and tons of time. The first one is used to search and navigate, and that's the control plus rollover click. The next one is to move, or to take code and essentially move code around, and that's the alt plus arrow up or arrow down. The next one is to duplicate, and you can basically highlight some code. Hold the control and alt key down simultaneously, and just duplicate that code with the arrow key. The next one is Control Z to undo, Control Y to redo. To search and replace, use Control F to copy Control C and to paste Control V. Now we're going to go into uh, some code that we've been building and show you how each one of these works. So let me show you the application first. So we've been building this simple flip book on YouTube and basically you just click and things flip over and you can go from page to page and that code uh, has a lot in it and we're going to show you how to use these shortcut keys right now let's start with the first shortcut key uh, to search and navigate use the control plus rollover click I use this all the time it allows you to navigate not just to different pieces of code but to different classes now in this particular application what I've done is I have a main application right here and that main application brings in a component and that component has all the code that I need to work with so I want to go to that component and I just hold down the control key and roll over it and when I roll over it you see it highlights right there just click that it takes me right to where that component is and there's the code for that component and I can now start working with that code this works very well for example if you have a uh, for example some MXML down here and you have a method or a, a function or you have a component you just basically hold the control key roll over and click it takes you right to the code of that component you can see how amazingly useful this can be. And it not just takes you to methods, but also to classes. So if there's classes underneath classes, you can navigate from place to place. This is very useful. So let's go back to main and let's go to the next keyboard shortcut. Okay, the next shortcut is extremely useful. It's the Alt plus arrow a keyboard shortcut. This is useful for moving code around. Let's take a look at how see how it works. So I'm in my application right now and say I've I created some code that I want to move somewhere else. I just highlight it. I hit the Alt key, hold it down, and then with the arrow key I can move that code anywhere I want in the application. Isn't that super cool? So the reason this is so powerful is because many times you're duplicating applications and you just want to move them around. And in doing so, uh, you uh, just get a, a heads up on this one. Let's try another one. I'm going to control click and go to the other application and we're going to do some more work. So the next uh, keyboard shortcut I want to show you guys is this one right here, Control Alt plus Arrow. This is also extremely useful. Let's go back to the application. Many times I want to duplicate a whole method that I've created. So I can highlight it, hold the Control key and Alt down, hit the down arrow key, and boom, it duplicates the function. Isn't that cool? That's Control Z to go back. I want to show you where this can become really useful. We're going to go down to our states. Here's the states, for example, and say I only have one state, but I want nine states. What I can do is come along here and uh, highlight that, and just hold the Control-Alt key down and create those nine states. Isn't that great? And then I have to, of course, change the numbers to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but that's how you do it. So let's Control-Z to go back to where we, want to, where we were. Good. All right, let's look at the next uh, useful... Uh, application and it is control Z there you go that's the one I've been using all the time <laughs> yeah probably the most useful control key in all the world but a lot of people don't know this there is also a control Y that's right if you control Z you go back but if you control Y you redo so let's take a look at that real quick so I'm back in my application and say I want to duplicate this so I hit my control alt key at the same time and arrow down but say I didn't like what I did, so I hit Control Z to go back. Hey, I want it back. I hit Control Y to go back. So Control Z takes you one way, and Control y, y takes you back. Now, there's been many, many times that I have messed up applications, and I've had to Control Z many times to get back where I originally was. And then I go, hey, I Control Z too far, so I just Control Y to go back to that point I need to be at. So you, when you're working with applications, of course, you want to um, make copies and save as you go but you know when you're coding in a frenzy sometimes you don't do that and control Z control Y can be your best friend alright let's go to the next one this one is going to save you so much time that uh, you should pay me some money just for telling you to use this and most people know this is control F and that's used to search and replace now a lot of people forget the replace piece so I want to go through that real quick so let's show you how I can use this to search and replace 
Let's control Z this to get back to where I was. Now in this particular application, I'm going to use a variable, an array collection called my collect. And I want to go there and I want to find my collect. So I just hit control F. I've highlighted it and highlighting it will bring it right into the find. Now if it doesn't, then if it doesn't show in the find, just uh, highlight it. Hit control C to copy and then paste it control V. There you go. And there it is. And then when you click find, it'll find wherever that is in the application. This is extremely useful. Believe me, you're going to be navigating and looking for things, and this is another way to find them. Now, here's something else that's extremely useful that people don't realize, but this will save you tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of time. You might be in an application and go, you know what, I just don't like that name, or I need to change that name. So you can just replace it. So if I go my collect, I want to change that to my collect today. And if I hit replace all, it will replace all of those to my collect today. Isn't that cool? So without any work here, I've been able to go along here and replace all the my collect with my collect today. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, well, we're almost done here. Let's uh, take a look. I don't like that, of course, now I want to hit Control z to go back. So let's hit Control z a few times so we can get all that back. There we go. We're back to my collect. Okay. Uh, two more we got to look at real quick here. Very essential are Control c for... Uh, copy and control V for paste. Now, back in the Flash 6 days, this became essentially important because you would type in a variable name and then you go retype it and make a mistake and you'd take a long time to find that. Now, that's don't, you don't have that in flag, Flex. If you type something in wrong, it usually flags it for you. But I am telling you guys, do not type your variable names. After you've created a variable name, then what you want to do from that point on is control C and control V it wherever you need to have it. So if I wanted to have that name below here, I could hit control V and control. And if I wanted it again, I could hit control V. Or if I wanted a bunch of them, of course, I could just, I could highlight it, hit my control alt and duplicate those over and over again. Why is this so essential? Um, you're going to be always cutting and copying code. You want to do that. You want to copy and paste as much as possible. Once again, copy and paste your variable names. Do not type them in once you've typed them once. This may take a little bit more time, or maybe not, but it will save you a lot of headaches in the future when you try to debug. Now, just one more thing about uh, Control F. Say if I highlight something, Control F. Let's go back to my collect. I Control F. I also have the option with Control F when it comes to replacing, just to replace a few lines of code. So if I highlight that, for example, then I can replace just what was highlighted. So this can become very essential when it comes to replacing. So uh, I've uh, given you all the basic keyboard shortcuts. I promise you, as you got my solemn promise, if you learn and memorize these uh, eight keyboard shortcuts, it will save you tons and tons and tons of time. So what, let's go over them again. Control plus rollover. That is for navigating and searching. Alt plus arrow. That is for moving after highlighting. Duplicate. Control plus alt. That with the arrow keys. Control Z. Control Y. Undo and redo. Search and replace, control plus F, and copy and paste, control C and control V. I hope this was helpful. Uh, this was Mike Lively. Thanks for listening.